Reaper's opinion, and he's challenging CFL, all of CFL, to money matches. Oh, he, is he? Yeah, he made a My pose. My fight money. He needs fight money. I mean, I want to money match a few people just because I'm going out to dinner tonight. I'm excited for that, actually. It's going to be really that. fun. It's, it's going to be like 20 me. people going out to, like, Korean barbecue. Where is that located? Um, it's located in West Oakland, so... Okay, oh, okay. It, it's, so is it by Sam, because it's his house? Yeah. Okay. I'd say it's about 15 minutes, oh, that's 20 bad. minutes away from you Sam. talk to me about that versus, like, the 45-minute drive <laughs> we have to go from our house. And, you know, that's one thing that always, like, blows my mind is the fact that this region... And I'm not talking about sub-regions. I'm talking about region. Florida Just as a South region. Just Florida. Region, Florida as a Florida. region. Okay, all right. Is so far away from everything. Like... South Florida is oh. split into so many different sub-regions that everything is far away. Like, versus Gaming Center from where we are currently at the TGL venue. 45 to like an 45 hour. 45 minutes to an hour away. And then you have, um, what's the Flippers? Flippers, which is roughly about the same. It's in Hollywood. You have PPG, which is in West Palm Beach. And then you have Arcade Odyssey, which is not far from this venue in particular, but far from everywhere else. <laughs> it's far for the people up north. So, thankfully, we do have several different tournament series yeah. for our weeklies. That way, if you want to go to one, you typically... You can just pick and choose. Pick and choose. One of them has to be near you. That's um, what I really like about um, South Florida in particular, is the amount of support... I high-key personally like Arcade Odyssey, because I like the arcade Three, machines. Of course. Um, so, here we go. I, I don't know if this is a button check. No. No, it's not. Uh, Manny already going right into it with that run-up grab. And, you know, sometimes even in, an, in a conversion such as that at the very beginning of the match, it could determine what type of playstyle your player is going to be looking for amongst the pace of the match. So, for a fact, if 2Ts manages to beat Manny, this will be considered a huge upset. I have high confidence in Link after what I saw T do at Civil War. I, I believe in I believe, I believe any in. character, except for Puff, can do anything. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. Look, Puff has decent aerial, has a shield break move, and has rest to clutch out a stock. It's not that bad. You know who doesn't have rest is Link right now. No, but, but Link does have rage. Going for random up B. I was proud. very brave. I'm very proud. <laughs> that was but very brave. Not the smart choice. So here we're seeing a kind of aggressive Sonic playstyle from Manny. Um, we saw that at the very beginning of the game when I mentioned that like, he had just ran up and um, grabbed. Sometimes it could tell you the type of playstyle that that player is looking for. You're right, but typically Manny's known to be patient. one of those patient yeah, Sonic. Yeah. Um, really goes for the, the hits that matter. I know he can definitely change his playstyle depending on where he is on bracket and the players that he's fighting, and that's what makes Manny a really good player. Um, another Sonic player that does that very well is Supergirl Health. Yes. That I feel like that bomb just uh, helped two teams more. Is he going to be able to find this stock, though? Once again, back air, almost taking it. That was a good recovery, high recovery, that is. He did not want to get edge guarded by Manny by recovering low. At the end of the day, there's three, mi there's four minutes on this clock, and I'm 100% sure if push comes to shove, Manny will go for that time. I like the aggression from 2T's, but it's definitely not working out for him considering, you know, that first game, Manny 2 stopped him. But. We were seeing that Manny was playing very aggressive that game, but at the same time, from what I was seeing, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't overextending. Yes, he wasn't overextending. He he wasn't constantly pressing buttons in two T's face. No, he was he was doing a spin dash can't spin dash is what it's called, right? Yeah, side B. So he was yeah. side B canceling over and over, forcing two T's to make a to make an option. However, the little hop that Sonic has is invincible. Yes, but. You could hold shield. It's not like it's a command grab or anything. Yeah, no, you, you can, hold guys, shield, you just let hold it, shield. You let it, or projectiles. The, you know, after the, end the, of the scary hop, part, though, is when they mix it up, where they where they cancel it and go for the grab. Right. And Manny was a little grab-happy that game, but he didn't get punished for it too often. So, no, he doesn't Doing get Doing the same thing he again. Same thing he just again. did it. He, he was like, I'm really fast. Quick 35%, 45%. 
Um, for those of you that don't know, Sonic's up air is actually frame four on the first hitbox. Interesting. I, which which foot is it that comes out first? Though? It's the it's the you know how it's like, like a, it's a scissor. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when the scissor opens, it's a frame four. Okay. Good use of down tilt to get two T's off stage, putting him into an edge guard situation. A little too low for the back air, but had that connected, that would have been it. Yeah, I, that's why two T's opted for that high recovery on the platform. That was good stage awareness and good uh, advantage of your stage pick as well. That bomb, bomb I think again. saved it. <laughs> like, it, it, he wasn't gonna be put into a very bad position, but that bomb sent him towards the stage. Back. Not gonna take it, has been nerfed. Apparently that throw back in the day used to kill at like 80, 90? I, I saw that he had the bomb, but I wasn't sure if Manning was going to try to overextend. I mean, this is Link, and Link is not shy of killing with rage. Sonic, one of the lighter characters on the roster. Back. Nice pivot grab right there. Gonna take it too. He did that early on the right side of the stage, uh, Manny that is, and... He did it because he's realizing that two T's is rolling and playing a lot more defensive whenever Manny gets close to him. So whenever Manny approached, he rolled away. Ooh, all right. Had he done an up smash right there using the boomerang's win pullback, I believe that would have been Manny's stock. Frame trap right there. Not looking too good for two T's. Well, he tried to get that two frame there. Run. I feel like perfect pivot forward tilt with Link is actually very scary. Forward tilt does kill out to be early too, and with rage. You know what move that actually terrifies me? That Link. That move. That move. That move. That move. Dash, attack. dash attack. I love when he did it. It's like he heard me. <laughs> it, I mean, yeah, it's a very. Bad move by all standards, really but it catches two frames and it kills. It kills really early. Back air? No, ops for it and air dodge. Manny was expecting a tech roll there, but 2 t staying grounded and staying in his place. This is what I want to see from 2T's two, two a lot earlier, to lay down bombs as traps. Cause Sonic, spacing. Yeah, spacing. Because yeah. Sonic has to give up stage control whenever he, they side B. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of like when Bayonetta uppies, back right throw, going to take it. Yes. Did you see what happened in that very instance in the very middle of the stage? Go ahead. Um, Manning was not even close to him. Not really. And he landed, and the moment he landed, Manning stayed in place, stared at him, and 2 T's rolled and got uh, grabbed for it. Here we see uh, another round two of... Uh, PGR player, we're gonna be seeing